Hello guys, today I want to share a compression of a rubber gasket. In this model, there, there is just one part and the up part is a rubber gasket and the bottom is a steel block. So during the step, the steel block is compress the rubber so the rubber deformed to seal this region <clears throat> let's see the deformation animation of the result this is a symmetry symmetric model so let let me show how to do this simulation. As I said, there is just one part, and I name it as gasket. But I partition partitioned it in two parts. The top one is rubber and the bottom is a steel block. So we can edit the part section. And this is the dimension. It, uh, simple sketch so I want do it again <coughs> here is the all dimension and you can you can make it as this shorts okay After create this part, <coughs> this is a asymmetric part. So uh, when we when we create the part, we need to pick the axis metric deformable shear. So we need to pay attention to this in the property module we need to create the material property and there are two materials in this model the rubber and the steel and the rubber we need a half elastic material model but in this case, we use the test test <coughs> data. As we can see, we can create the hyperelastic from <coughs> elastic elasticity hyperelastic, and here. We can choose test data, and here is the test. There are four test data, four kind of test data we can input. So here we have just two, three kinds of test: the actual test data, planar test, and the actual test. And the string energy potential model, we choose the polynomial. Then we take the test data.
just pay attention. This is just nominal stress and the nominal strain. It's different from the steel material or other materials because in hyper elastic material, we just need the nominal stress and nominal strain to establish the strain energy potential function. So this is by actual test and we have planar test data and the unit actual test data. Then we click OK and we can evaluate. We can evaluate the material. This is the string energy potential. We use the polynomial and OK. It's just fitting the material property. Here we get the uh, parameters for uh, money revealing model and uh, polynomial model and the garden model, the parameters. And in this region, the material is uh, stable for all strains. So this test data can be used directly. At the same time, if you want to use the other models, you can just input this data to do the simulation. As we can see, this is the uh, code fitting of the three models. Now we just close it and in the part we need to partition it into two parts and we can just do this distance is five we can have sketch To partition it, as we can see. If we want to partition this part, just click and give it a length. So we have partitioned it. Because this is not necessary, I delete it. It's here, partition. So let us remember this is a symmetric model, and we can get the complete model in the result in the visualization module. So and we just create the rubber material and the second material is steel and the eighth elastic material it's very simple and here is the yarns modulus and portion ration. Then we need to create two solid homogeneous section, one is for the material of rubber and the other is for steel. And then we need to assign the two sections for the part. This, the up part is rubber 
and the bottom is deer. So after we complete this. This part, we will send my section two times, where I can delete it. So in the assembly module, we just uh, instant make it an uh, instance. Then in the step module, we create a static general step. And we get the nonlinear geometry on, and the time period is one second. In the incrementation, we need to change the initial increment size and make it 0 0.01. So it's okay. Then uh, because there is just one instance, we don't need to create interaction. So in the load module, we just need to create the boundary condition and the and the uh, pressure. So we need to fix the up boundary here. Uh, and this is just a symmetric boundary. And we create the pressure on the steel block it's for 0 0.5 mega pass then we can mesh this part and the element type now for the rubber we need to use hybrid element type and we used the quadratic element type so it's the AX8H and for the steel we can just the <coughs> we can just use the CX4R or just uh, as the same as the rubber, it didn't matter. And the element size is 5 millimeter, and we get the local Z. We can see. It's just to make it a 15 element. Here we can mesh it more, re more finer. It's up to you. So, after all of this, we can create a job and give it a name gasket so we submit it because the element is not many so it is quick to solve let me see 
it's already completed. So we can see the result. Yeah, it is. Mm, this element has a stress concentration. Or you can refine the mesh. Here, I just uh, hide it. Or hide all the sphere elements. And here is the rubber. Because it's quadratic element, so the node Uh, in the mid of the element edge, there is a node. So it's it has eight nodes in every element. This is how the rubber deformed and. Here we can get a propagation of the model because it's a axiometric model. We can sweep it for 180 degrees. So it is cylinder. And we can hide the element edges. This is the stress. We can also this is the missile stress in the sphere, as we can see, and for the strain. And the displacement so this is the today's sharing of models uh, if you guys are interested in Abacus AE, you can subscribe my channel. And thanks for watching.